Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to talk about uh, Elastic Cache for Redis uh, cross-region replication. So with Memcached, Elastic Cache did not support cross-region replication uh, but with introduction of global data stores, now you can uh, actually replicate your data across the region using Elastic Cache for Redis uh, and you can also, so there will be primary and secondary and you can read and write from your primary and you can read from your secondary data store as well. Uh, you can add your existing clusters if you have Redis clusters. So we are not talking about Memcached, only Redis supports this. So you can actually add your existing Redis clusters to global data store or you can simply create them from scratch. So this is what we are going to do in this video. So in my AWS console, I'm in my global data stores and you can see I don't have any global data stores, neither do I have any Redis clusters, right? But if I go to global data stores and I create a global data store, I'll just say cluster mode enabled, give the name, so I would call it primary data, right? That's, and this one I want in US West 2, which is fine. Cluster, uh, primary cluster. I just need to fill all these information, your version, engine version, right port, parameter groups, node type, you want, if you can want, I mean, you can use a smaller version, a smaller instance type, but I'll just leave these as default, number of shards, replicas per shard. So you can see all this is already populated, so I don't have to worry about anything. I'll just do next. I'll come down, enable automatic backup. I don't want automatic backup, so I'll just uncheck that. And rest I'll leave as is. Now you can see it, it is talking about secondary cluster setting. So secondary cluster I want in US East 1 and that would be secondary cluster. All the settings of the primary would actually apply to secondary as well, right? Like the engine version and stuff like that. They should uh, instance type engine version. They should be same. You can actually modify the number of shards and replicas but I'll leave them as is. The encryption is res is disabled. Yeah, I don't want that automatic backups. No, I don't want automatic backups for this as well. And I'll just do next. And this is just a review and I would say create. So this is actually going to take some time. Uh, I would come back uh, once this is created. I think it is going to take somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll just come back. I'll pause the video and come back once this is done. All right. All right. So you can see after almost 15 minutes, uh, our global data store is created. So now if we just go inside this, we would see uh, some information about the global data store and you can see it has created two clusters primary cluster and secondary cluster primary is in us west secondary is in us east right so if i click secondary you would see that it will ask me whether you want to navigate to us east one region because right now i am in oregon us west right so and if you go to redis clusters over here you would see what cluster has been created and that's why it takes so much of time right it took around 15 minutes because it was creating clusters, one in US East, another in US West, and then doing all the configuration. All right, so that's about what Global Data Store is actually doing. Now let's see. So if you select secondary over here, you would see there's a button promote to primary. So this is one drawback with the Elastic Cache Redis uh, Global Data Store that the auto promotion is still not being provided by AWS. So in case your primary goes down, right? So if your primary goes down, uh, there is no automatic way to basically recover from that failure that it will promote the secondary to primary. No, that will not happen automatically. That is something you need to do manually. So that's one thing. Uh, let's try that also. I mean, why not? So. Let's see if we go to secondary, we can either remove this cluster from this data store 
or we could add another cluster so you can add up to two clusters two regions basically not two clusters two regions to a data store so suppose this i mean this is in us east i can create another one in say frankfurt right so that's another thing uh, let's do a promote to primary yes i want to make this my primary and this is again going to take some time and you can see the status has changed to modifying right because now it is promoting the secondary cluster to primary uh, i'm not sure about how much time it is going to take so let me pause the video and then come back see how much time because i am not sure about how much exactly how much minutes it's going to take right so let's let's just pause the video maybe it, it will take another 5 five, 5 seven minutes right all right all right so it has done promoting the secondary to primary let's go into our data store and uh, see so you don't go on the cluster name because i have named them as such primary cluster and secondary cluster but you look at the role so the primary cluster is now secondary and the secondary cluster is now primary right and you can also see the replication lag it also gives you the replication lag how much lag is there basically replicating data all right so and one more thing so i think i've told you already uh, that you can read and write to your primary cluster but you can only read from your secondary cluster you cannot do writes on your secondary cluster right so that's one thing you should keep in mind apart from that i don't think so i have anything else yeah so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you like the video uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching